Okay, today we're gonna actually uh, we're gonna be talking about the uh, the flip up monitor uh, that's compatible with any Mazda 3 from 2003 up to 2008. Uh, the Mazda 3 we're in today is a 2008. Uh, it's compatible on the sedan, hatchback, and the Mazda Speed. Uh, this is the actual monitor, as you can see. Uh, it has the it, it, it's a flip up. It it comes up. It also has a tilt button, as you can see here. Okay, and what I'm going to show you today is I'm actually going to show you everything that can be hooked up to this monitor. Uh, first, we're going to start with the actual XM radio. This is the actual XM radio uh, screen here. As you can see, we can change stations. Uh, XM offers 170 stations or more, I believe. Uh, it also has Major League Baseball and a, and a bunch of different other sports. Uh, so you can actually... Uh, Look, if you look here, you can actually browse and actually search the music by categories. So again, it's over 170 stations you get with uh, with XM Radio, and the monitor offers the the actual screen of the XM uh, player. Uh, the way we get this image here is the XM. I have an XM receiver in the back, which we'll show you later, uh, which hooks up to my GPS Garmin uh, navigation system, which is this black box. Uh, this box is actually underneath the passenger seat. It's a very small box, so it's very convenient to pretty much place anywhere in the car. I have it underneath the passenger seat. And real quick, just to get back to this real quick, uh, it has the output for the GPS receiver. And if we open this here, it actually has a uh, input for the XM uh, receiver. Um, if you want to go ahead and navigate, uh, this is the actual remote for the navigation system. And again, it's very convenient. Uh, I like the remote much better than the touch screen since when you're driving, it's very difficult to keep tapping on the screen. Here, we can pretty much do everything with the remote. Uh, if we want to navigate, we can actually navigate and it'll tell us where we are. Uh, or we can pick the, the actual location. We have the, the favorites and the hotels and everything else that comes with navigation. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you uh, the other thing I went ahead and hooked up to my uh, flip on monitor and that's an actual DVD player. Now, if you see, if you can see here, as you can see here, uh, this is the actual DVD player. It's ideal because it's a slim DVD player, it's an external one, and it screws into my glove compartment since there's a lot of room in there. Now, this is a very unique DVD player, to say the least. Uh, number one, it has a USB input, has an input for an SD card, in the front it has an audio and a video input. It also has audio and video inputs in the back. Uh, so you can actually hook up two things to it. And then it obviously has the video and audio outputs that go to the monitor. Um, the USB port, I tend to use it for MP3s. Uh, so my music I'll usually put on a, on a USB uh, card here and I'll put that in the reader. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch to the actual uh, DVD player. We're going to change the, the input in the back. And what I'm going to show you next is I'm actually going to show you the actual DVD player. We're going to activate the DVD player. Now I have the MP3 files which we're going to listen to first and then I'm actually going to show you movies on the DVD player. DVD player uh, plays DVDs as well as uh, VCDs and any other video uh, formatted uh, uh, CDs. Uh, right now, we're actually looking at the uh, MP3s that are playing on the DVD player right now. And you can actually scroll down and pick the different uh, singers here. Um, so as you can see, you can actually uh, pick the different ones. And here we're just going to pick one here. And we're actually going to change it. Now this one also works with a remote, and this remote is very unique because it has the buttons to switch from USB to DVD to SD. It also has the button for the modes, so uh, I can switch modes whenever I like. Uh, right now we're listening to a, a, a Bon Jovi song. Um, now we're going to go ahead and show you a movie. And if we go back here to the DVD player, I'm actually going to put in a, a DVD movie in here. And we're going to be able to see the movie right here on the monitor. We're going to change the mode. Actually, it's loading right now. And we're going to be able to look at the image right here on the monitor. Now, these monitors are 
very nice because they have a, they're a seven inch screen so uh, it, that's I believe the ultimate size as far as uh, the, the screen most people like uh, because we have the navigation uh, installed to it uh, you don't have to worry about sticking the navigation on your window like most navigation systems that are sold today uh, right now you're looking at uh, at one of the movies I just put in uh, this is an actual cartoon movie called Ice Age uh, so we're actually looking at the uh, right now we're watching a DVD movie uh, while that's playing I'm gonna go ahead and get the next thing set up here which is a iPod uh, I carry my iPod everywhere I go and this iPod I have both videos and I also have mp3 files on, on this iPod as well as pictures and because we can hook this up to the monitor uh, we can look at the pictures on the monitor we can listen to the mp3 files through the audio system and we can also watch the videos I have in my iPod through the monitor. Uh, real quick, to get back to the audio part, uh, my radio system, I went ahead and purchased a Cellflex uh, auxiliary card that actually goes in the radio in the back. And that allows me to be able to listen through the, uh, listen to the audio through the car uh, speaker system. So uh, when you hear the sound, it's actually coming out through the speaker system. Uh, and the great thing about Mazdas is you can control the volume and everything else from the steering wheel. Uh, we're going to go to the iPod, and if we go back here to the DVD player, remember how I mentioned it had a video and an audio input in the front? These cables here actually go to my iPod. This is my video cable that we're going to plug in. And then this is the audio cable. And now we have the iPod cable on this end. And now we're going to actually watch some videos on my iPod. This is really, really cool. Um, let's see here. I have both videos and movies on my iPod. Uh, this is a 30 gig. Um, it has a, a 30 gig, this iPod that I, I have here. Uh, so let's go to the movies here. If I can find them. Okay. I have a lot of concerts on my iPod. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play a, a, a live concert by Guns N' Roses. And since we're doing that, we're going to have to change the mode on the DVD player and this is I believe yes Guns N' Roses uh, which we're watching here and from the iPod you can fast forward so I know what's going on in that so we're fast forwarding here and right now we're watching a live concert uh, from Guns N' Roses if I don't care for the concert and I want to listen to the 2000 songs I have on my iPod we can listen to the mp3 files from my iPod through the car speaker system so these are just some things that can be hooked up to the flip-up monitor. It's a, it, it, it's a great monitor. Uh, it's the best I've had in years. Uh, with the sun here in Florida, uh, there's no, uh, it, it doesn't distort the image in, in during the daylight. Uh, the tilt button helps with that as well. And uh, again, it's a seven inch monitor, so uh, I like it for that reason. Uh, since we've seen every pretty much everything that can be hooked up to the monitor, Next I'm going to show you a couple of things that are in the back of the car and those are my two receivers. Uh, I have both the navigation uh, receiver in the back and I have the XM receiver. All these things I'm showing you today we actually uh, do have in stock and we can actually sell to you. Uh, if anybody has any questions regarding these items I'm showing you today, uh, you're more than welcome to email us and I'll be more than happy to give you more information. Uh, a lot of people like to inquire about the Silflex uh, audio car that goes in the radio and I can give you some information on that. Um, but real quick, just to finish up on the DVD player that we saw, don't forget it does have a USB import, uh, I'm sorry, input and it has the uh, SD card. So I always like to put my MP3 files on there and you can also put videos on there so keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here and we're going to go ahead and show you the back of the car. Okay, right now we're looking at the back of the car, and just to give you an idea on how we're able to uh, play uh, XM radio and also navigate uh, throughout the United States and North America, uh, we have two receivers on the back. The small little black receiver you see is actually hooked up to the uh, navigation system. That's that Garmin uh, black box I showed you earlier. And the XM receiver, which is the larger round receiver, actually also hooks up to that Garmin navigation box. Uh, so both things can be hooked up to that box and that's what allows us to be able to listen to XM radio as well as navigate. Um, again, uh, if you have any questions regarding these things, please email us. Um, prior to this, I, I did have a car, car computer hooked up to this car. 
but later on uh, realized that it was much more convenient going this route. Um, you can go ahead and hook up a computer, don't forget, to the monitor I showed you today. Uh, as long as your computer has uh, uh, video outputs, uh, you can hook it up, up to the monitor. Uh, I actually have a laptop that actually every now and then I'll hook up to this monitor as well that I can bring with me. So uh, just wanted to uh, mention that before I wrapped it up. And uh, again, if anybody has any questions, uh, please send us an email.